There are two types of liver disease that can lead to liver failure, chronic and acute. Liver failure that occurs over a period of years is the end result of a disorder called chronic liver disease. Chronic liver disease occurs slowly and symptoms are often unnoticeable. If it's diagnosed before too much damage occurs, treatment can give the liver a chance to heal and recover. Symptoms that tell you your liver may be in danger include the following. Pain and swelling in the upper abdomen. Swelling in the legs, feet, and ankles. Skin and eyes that appear yellowish, a condition known as jaundice. Unusually itchy skin. Dark urine color and pale stools. Nagging or chronic fatigue. Nausea or vomiting. Less desire to eat, especially favorite foods. Tendency to bruise easily. Acute liver failure is the other type. Acute liver failure occurs quickly, in just weeks or even days. It requires immediate medical attention because it is life-threatening. Most often, acute liver failure is caused by hepatitis virus, an autoimmune disease, septic shock, drugs or medications, and toxins in food or the environment. Many of the signs of acute liver failure are similar to the symptoms of chronic liver disease, but are also likely to include the following. Disorientation, confusion, and other cognitive difficulties. Debilitating lack of energy, drowsiness, or sleepiness. Physical tremors. Breath may have a musty or sweet odor. Acute liver failure, also known as fulminant hepatic failure, is a medical emergency that can cause excessive bleeding and pressure in the brain. Acute liver failure is less common than the kind caused by chronic liver disease, but is very dangerous because it can cause a lot of liver damage before you know it's happening.